Welcome to another Studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Studio Editor. First, let's take a look at the top bar, which consists of three different bars. So at the very top, we have the project bar, and on the very left, we have the Studio logo. If we click on this logo, we'll be taken to our Studio dashboard to see all of our projects, and we'll be able to add new projects. If we click on our project name, we'll be taken to our project dashboard, where we can set different settings for our project's pages, access form submissions, and more. Then we have the basic undo, redo controls and zoom controls. And then over to the right, we can share this project with other team members, generate a live preview link to share or publish projects on the web. Next, we have the style bar. And depending on what we click inside of our canvas, this style bar is going to change for the style settings for each individual element. Here we can set things like the margin and padding, the width and height of different elements, the radius, and we can color, add borders and shadows and things like that to our elements in the project. Lastly, in the top bar, we have the responsive bar. And this is where you can test the size of your designs for laptops, iPads, uh, mobile phones, things like that. Next, we have the elements panel and there's a mini and extended view of this. So if we click on this arrow, we have many more options for boxes, images, icons, and uploading our own media. To the right, we have an icon for the layers panel, and we can extend this out and see all of the layers in our design and expand them out to see how our layer hierarchy works for our project. Near the bottom, we have a help menu where we have access to video courses, the learning center, tips and tricks. We can also get access to keyboard shortcuts, and we can toggle dark mode and light mode on for the interface. Near the bottom right, we have live chat, and this is where you can get support for Studio. Lastly, we have the canvas, and this is where all of your elements are going to be for the design of your website. And in this example, we have a web page, and here at the top of the canvas, we can see the name of our web page is home. We can change that easily. We can also find the URL of this page, and we can delete, duplicate, or add more pages to our design. Now, if we scroll down a little, we can also see that our project has multiple web pages. And to get access to these web pages, we can just click on any one of them. And now we're taken to that page. Now, that's just a brief overview of the Studio Editor. We'll go over these tools and panels in much more detail in future videos.